I find it utterly fascinating that here we are talking about some more Nintendo Switch 2 rumors. Look, I honestly, after that last video I made over the weekend, really thought we were going to be dying down on this stuff a bit. And maybe I was being a bit naive because today we have a couple of new rumors from different sources. One of them on a brand new game coming to Nintendo Switch 2, maybe even Nintendo Switch, could be a cross-gen title. We're talking about Star Fox and we don't just have a rumor for it, we actually have some direct publicly available real evidence that Star Fox is happening internally at Nintendo. And then on top of that, we have this other rumor about Nintendo Switch 2. If you guys remember, we were talking about a retail listing in Japan, then we covered a rumor about some uh, sources out in Spain that maybe some retailers there are also hearing about Nintendo Switch 2 and prepping their systems for pre-orders. And now today, <laughs> We have some information that GameStop here in the United States is possibly prepping themselves for Nintendo Switch 2 pre-orders as well, being informed by Nintendo of America. What the hell is going on? What is happening? We got our timestamps down below. Without further ado, let's dive into this very first one. And this is about GameStop prepping pre-orders for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, where does this rumor come from? Well, it begins with Mr. Mike Odyssey, a fellow YouTuber who asked a manager, I believe it was a manager, if you watch this video, you can go check it out, we'll put a link down below, uh, about whether or not they have heard anything from Nintendo about, well, Nintendo Switch 2 and you know, them prepping their system for pre-orders and preparing marketing material and all of that. And he was basically hinted quite heavily by this manager that it's happening. He couldn't give like exact confirmation, but he's basically saying, I'm not not saying that it's not happening. So that's kind of an interesting thing to think about. And because of that, this morning I actually went to one of my local game stops. We have a few of them and asked one of the managers there, Basically the same thing. Hey, have you heard anything about Nintendo Switch 2? Is Nintendo prepping anything? I just want to know as a content creator, like, you know, sh should I be preparing to get pre-orders in here in the next month or two? And he's basically saying, oh, look, I can't confirm anything, but something's always happening. I essentially got like the same response. So this to me is quite fascinating that it certainly sounds like, and again, this is unverified rumors that even GameStop is starting to hear from Nintendo corporate about the Nintendo Switch 2 and prepping pre-orders. So I'm just throwing that out there that it kind of seems likely in the next month or two, the thing might be available to just to pre-order in general. So we're gonna have to wait and pay attention to that. And now we get to get into a fun one. And this is about an actual game that we have real evidence for. What game are we talking about? Star Fox. Now I'm gonna throw some footage up here of a different game that Star Fox featured in on Nintendo Switch, and some people consider it to be like the best Star Fox game there is, although it's not a Star Fox game. That being said, we need to talk about some stuff with Star Fox before we get into uh, some rumors here, and that is because we already have evidence a Star Fox game is happening. Now, what do we know about this Star Fox game? Well, Star Fox Code was actually discovered in Nintendo Switch Sports, and Oddly enough, and we didn't cover it either, it kind of went uncovered. Most outlets didn't really pay any attention when this was posted online. But yes, there is Star Fox code confirmed to be inside Nintendo Switch Sports. You're already seeing it on screen. And so, yeah, you see it for yourselves. It's right there. It's a confirmation that, hey, something Star Fox was happening behind the scenes at Nintendo. Secondly, a Star Fox trademark was renewed quite recently in Brazil and that on its own isn't that big a deal. Nintendo's renewing trademarks for their IPs all the time. Could just be related to NSO and all of that stuff. But this is the strange part. A completely brand new trademark was made for Star Fox and filed in November. And this is kind of strange because it's not like the old Star Fox trademark went away and isn't valid anymore. This is a completely new trademark and no one really knows why it exists. It, it, it doesn't really make any sense sense. So these are some already publicly available real evidence that Nintendo does have something cooking with Star Fox. And since Nintendo Switch Sports was an internally developed project at Nintendo, code for Star Fox actually being in that game for some reason suggests that if a Star Fox game is being made, it's being made internally. And this is really exciting because, well, they haven't made an internal Star Fox game 
since Star Fox 64. That's right. Everything else was made by second party or third party studios. So I find this to be quite fascinating. And now we have all that direct evidence out there, some of which has never been discussed on my channel before. And that's already exciting, like basically hints and, and suggestions that Star Fox is coming. But we also have a rumor out there. And yes, this rumor is coming from Zippo, who if you look at my rumor believability scale is down in the wishful thinking category. But we can't ignore that a Star Fox is probably coming. And we'll just add this to the discussion points, right? This is the rumor aspect of all of this. The other stuff was facts. Like that's fact-based, easily verifiable information. Now we get into the rumor segment here. So if you go over to Zippo's blog here, you know, he talks about the same stuff that I just brought up, right? All of those, all those facts of, of the situation, you know, this and, and all that stuff. But let's get to his new information, right? Let's get to his new information. It even credits the original sources on the stuff of Mono Omega, Necrolipe, and Brian. But let's get into his new stuff. So he says, as for my own information, here's a few new details. Remember, all rumors. It's actually being developed internally. Again, I already pointed out how that's probably likely. I mean, you can already infer that from the fact that they had code in it in an internally developed Nintendo game. Anyways, this is the first time Nintendo's taken the reins of development since 1997's Star Fox 64. Okay, it's apparent. I've literally already told you that. It's apparently a sequel to a previous Star Fox game. So that's interesting. So they're not rebooting. It's a sequel. Online multiplayer will be a big part of the game's promotion, not just a mode in the game. They're actually going to promote it massively as a multiplayer game. I find that to be interesting uh nintendo will come to nintendo's brand new console so nintendo switch 2 though there is a chance that it could also come to switch so there might be a cross-gen title that would suggest it's probably going to come this year right like if you, a lot of cross-gen titles will probably be this year or early 2025 and he said it is set to release within the next 12 months now that's not a ton of information out there like none of that's really crazy you know the very first thing he acts like his information is something you could already infer based on the fact that there's already code internally at Nintendo for it. But I do find it quite interesting to think about the fact that they could be focusing on multiplayer. Multiplayer has been in Star Fox games in the past, so it's not a new concept. But Nintendo doesn't actually have a ton of like online multiplayer games. You know, you get your Splatoons, your Mario Karts, your Smash Bros. And yeah, you have a little bit of online multiplayer with their sports games, but they don't have like a lot of major online IP. Literally, it's the core three, right? It's, it's, it's the Splatoon, it's the Mario, car and it's the well smash bros right they don't really have like big online games outside of those franchises they have online modes in a lot of games but that's not the same thing so i i, I do find it interesting that maybe the angle they want to take with Star Fox isn't to get rid of the single player campaign you're going to totally have it but to add to that single player campaign by throwing out a massive multiplayer mode that to me is pretty exciting. Now, again, these are all unverified rumors, right? Rumors are meant to be doubted. Zippo's in the wishful thinking category. Not sure if he really has any real tangible information on Star Fox here, but what I am sure of is if you combine the known trademark filings with the known code in Nintendo Switch Sports, you can already make a pretty damn good assumption that Nintendo is internally working on a Star Fox game. And that is super, super exciting. Maybe it's something we could see at the next Nintendo Direct along with Metroid Prime 4. I have no idea. Maybe it's something they would hold back until Nintendo Switch 2 is revealed. Beats the hell out of me. All I know is this gets me excited. See, this is what I'm excited about. We talk so much about the damn Nintendo Switch 2 console and what it's going to be able to pre-order and the specs and this and that. But this is the exciting part. The games, baby. The games. We've talked about 3D Mario. Now we get to talk about Star Fox. Whew, I'm tingling a little bit. Uh, we'll probably continue this Star Fox conversation tonight on our live stream. But before then, we're going to have a Prime News episode dropping later today because we have a lot of actual news, not rumors, to go through today because we have some crazy sales updates and a whole bunch of other stuff, game trailers, a lot of stuff to go over. So we're going to get to that. But I wanted to get this rumor video out first. So now I can go ahead and zone in on our first Prime News episode in nearly 10 days. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Rumblejance from Nintendo Prime. I'll catch you in the next video.